Hello everybody, welcome to our newest product, the Biker Bundle. Today I'd like to give you a brief overview of what we have made here for you. This is our base character setup. You have multiple clothing types for upper bodies, lower bodies, the shoes, the headpieces, in this case bandanas, some gloves, and this applies for both genders. Sometimes we combine the headpieces with the glasses and the hair itself, as you can see here. We added some cloth animations, as you can see on the hair, it's moving, same for the bandana and the leather jackets on the buttons as well. Here are the animations on the third person template. Okay, let's take a closer look at these items. Here you can see some variations. I gonna ripped off the leather uh, jeans vests, that it doesn't appear so super clean for bikers. You can always change uh, the tint color of each item. Let's take a closer look at this one. I'm going to select it here, the jeans vest. And here I applied uh, three different material instances for the text itself, for the leather vest and for the um, bottom layer, the long shirt. You can always change here the material variations. So I can make it flannel with a red tint or with a blue tint. I can also change the leather vest um, to a jeans vest. You can mix and match these together how it fits your biker or your citizen NPC. And you can um, always change the tint variations here as well. So I have here the jeans vest selected right now. Um, as you can see, the red part, which comes from the tint texture itself, which is mainly the uh, primary shapes of this one. You can change here the appearance if you want to make it darker, for example, like a black jeans vest. And this applies for all clothing pieces. You can do this on the jeans, on the shoes, on the shirts, band bandanas as well. As you can see, I've also here second variations with some stars on top to make your own unique biker. Okay, um, we also added the uh, logo um, blend possibilities. In this case, you can apply your own uh, custom biker logo on the back or on the shirt. Um, for example, I'm gonna open right now a full character overview. Here, this is on the meta human. This is a leather jacket, and here um, some samples. It's the logo sample, so to say. When you open the material of the leather jacket itself, there's a um, pattern slot, a uh, use pattern, and then you can place um, uh, a logo in here, for example, I'm going to place now the Polyphoria logo on the back of it. Voila. Now it's a um, little bit more scaled compared to the logo version before. You can go here in plain mode, then you see it directly where it's placed. I go to unlit, that is here a little bit more. Here are different parameters to offset the material. You can uh, change the height and scale it, for example, a little bit smaller and you can also import there your logos this is now a brute force tint with one color and you can uh, pre-colorize your logos in photoshop or substance painter and add these on top yeah and this goes for example let's give it here a little bit of a darker touch yeah and this is going to work and if you deactivate it then uh, the shader is recompiling and everything is clean again that's up to you if you want to have a clean jacket or something with a phrase on top of it. As shown here, our um, clothing apparels work with a meta human tall normal weight as well. As you can see here, this is uh, the um, basic proportions of the tall one. And here, um, let's go a little bit closer. So our stuff on top. It could be that some skin might stick through, for example, with the bandanas if you pull the forehead too far out in the creator. So keep that in mind that you don't exaggerate it too heavy, but in most cases um, it should work. Here also some variations for the jeans vest, for the leather vest. Here's uh, again a meta human head with a meta human beard and our hairstyle on top of it. You don't have to use the groom at all and also you can bring in your own tattoos or if you want to add some hair on the uh, arms itself. This is um, then up to you in the end. This is not part of the submission because we are not allowed to submit any meta human content to the marketplace. Okay, here are some more variations on the jeans as well. 
with a stitch pad, as you can see, clean version and the used version. You have the dudes, also the females. It does as well work uh, with some of the MetaHuman base dress ups. For example, this is the uh, slim jeans from the MetaHuman creator. And the bottom parts work pretty well with our closing cutting lines. Okay, and this is the gang. We hope you enjoyed this little introduction. Feel free to leave us a comment or in case you need something additional, um, just contact us and let us know. And that's it so far from my side. And I'm going to wish you all a pretty great day and hope to see you soon. Adios. Ciao.